Okay, we'll start with the only guy ever to play for the Phoenix, go away and come back. He played the very first A-League match for the club six years ago and went on to make 33 appearances in two seasons before spending time at Melbourne Victory and Gold Coast United. He came back last year and played six more times in a season marred by injuries, but he's fully fit now and is the first choice goalkeeper for the club and country. With 23 all-whites caps and counting and quite popular with the ladies, uh, number one is Glenn Moss. <laughs> He came to the Phoenix in 2008 as fullback cover. Five years later, he's one of the most valuable members of the side, the fourth highest appearance marker maker in the club's history, and a Maltese international. He's extremely versatile, able to play left or right back, but probably his best position, and the one we'll see him in most this season as is part of the defensive screen in front of the back four. He brought up a century of games for the club last season and brings an aggressive, no nonsense approach to everything he does. He also puts on a really good mean face. Number two, Matty Muscat. <laughs> now, Matty can't be here, so just imagine that he's here. If one of you guys could pull a Manny face, that would be great. Thank you, Glenn. Thank you. Uh, the first of the new faces to the club this season was a member of the Australian squad at the FIFA Under 20 World Cup in Turkey earlier this year. He had three years at Aston Villa before joining the Western Sydney Wanderers last season. He's crossed the Tasman looking for greater playing opportunities and has made great strides this pre-season in locking down the left back spot. Uh, where he provides great space, stamina up and down the flag and can also play in midfield if needed. Please welcome number three, Reese Kyra. Another new face to the Wellington Phoenix, one of the youngest players ever to appear in New Zealand's National League when he made a senior debut for Waitakere United at the age of 15. Before time at Birmingham City and Derby County in the UK, he captained the New Zealand side at the FIFA Under 20 World Cup in Turkey this year and was offered a professional contract shortly after returning home. He's a tall, composed, extremely promising central defender, none for Luke Adams. Wellington Phoenix having joined the club a year ago from the Vancouver Whitecaps. He's a defender who's played his early football for Central United, Three Kings United and Ellerslie before three years at the University of California. He's debuted for the All Whites in 2011 and has played seven times for New Zealand. He spent part of the off-season playing for the Oakley Cannons in the Victoria Premier League where he made some big impressions. Uh, welcome number five, Michael Boxall. Next up, it's the club's most recent signing, 20-year-old attacking fullback. He can play on either side of the back four. Played most recently uh, for the Moreton Bay United in Queensland's National Premier League, alongside Phoenix players Carl Dodd and Royce Brownlee. His trial period in Wellington was almost stymied by a niggling groin injury, but he was impressive enough to be allowed to rehabilitate in Wellington and then earn a pro contract. The club's new number six, Josh Brindell South. Okay, born and raised in Wellington and played his early football here before heading offshore for stints with, among others, uh, Barnsley uh, and then Perth Glory where he played two A-League seasons. In 2008 he returned to his hometown where he played two A-League seasons. In 2008 he came back to his hometown and has been at the Phoenix ever since. He's brought up the century of games for the club last season and is now third on the all-time list of appearance makers with 120 games for the Phoenix. He's played 54 times for the All Whites and famously delivered that corner from which Rory Fallon scored against Bahrain to send New Zealand to the 2010 World Cup and it was such an awesome game. That number seven shirt belongs to the one and only Leo Burtos. One of the true stars of the A-League, uh, from the time he arrived in 2009, he's delighted crowds with his mazy dribbling, audacious finishing and spectacular goals. He's the club's all-time leading score, goal, goal scorer excuse me, with 31, a Barbados international and he was a member of the A-League All-Stars which played Man United earlier this year. He's also played against them for Millwall in the 2004 FA Cup Final. Early in the new season, he'll become the Phoenix's ninth century and, and he's very, very fired up for this campaign. And I understand very trim too. Number eight, Paul Eiffel. <laughs> On to 
another new face now, uh, new to the club and to New Zealand football fans. He's a current uh, Costa Rican international and has featured with his country in their recent Gold Cup and World Cup qualifying campaigns. He's a lightning quick attacker who loves nothing more than picking up the ball in wide positions and running at speed into the attacking third. He's set to terrorise A-League defences in the season ahead and we can't wait to see the Phoenix's new number nine, Kenny Cunningham. Next to the Belgian international striker who arrived at the Phoenix at the start of last season and immediately made a mark with three goals in his first four matches. He's a tireless centre forward with an impeccable first touch and the ability to bring teammates into the game with deft passes. He's also really good in the air, quite tall too. He's played previously in the top leagues in Belgium and Holland and has represented his country on 15 occasions. He's been superb in pre-season form and will be hunting many more goals this A-League season. He is number 10, Stein Heisinger. Heisinger. <laughs> if there was one major bright spot last season, it was this next guy. After A-League stints with the Knights, Sydney FC, North Queensland Fury and the Newcastle Jets, he finally found his way to the right place, to the Phoenix, and could have hardly wished for a better debut season, scoring 16 goals in 24 games many of them spectacular efforts, leaving him just short of claiming the A-League's overall golden boot. He was the Players' Player of the Year last season and has just returned from a loan spell with Toronto FC. He's played 39 times for New Zealand, including going to the 2010 World Cup. Number 11, Jeremy Brocky. Right, off next to the first intake of the Wellington Phoenix Football School of Excellence last season. Now, this man was the first intake. He did enough to earn his first professional contract, a three-year deal, at the age of 17. He was a member of the New Zealand side, which competed at the FIFA Under-20 World Cup in Turkey this year, starting all three games. He's still searching for that elusive first A-League goal, but we're pretty sure it's not too far away. Uh, this Waikato uh, youngster has the potential to go a long way as a professional footballer. Number 12, Tyler Boyd. <laughs> Next up, another new face and the youngest member of the current squad. At the age of just 17, he recently signed a three-year deal with the Phoenix after a string of impressive performances during a trial period here in Wellington. He's a very composed midfielder with good dribbling skills, a wide range of passing and a powerful shot. He was a key member of the New Zealand side that earlier this year earned qualification for the FIFA Under-17 World Cup and he'll feature strongly in that tournament in uh, next month. Number 14, Alex Rufa. He cannot be here tonight, but do give him a round of applause. Can we just have someone just to the room? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, if you could choose your way to mark your A-League debut, it would be with a diving header against a side that contained an Italian World Cup winner. That's exactly what this guy did in the opening game of last season, and he went on to enjoy an incredibly impressive first year as a pro, including winning the award for the club's best young player. He's been converted into a right fullback in the new season, in the preseason, and was doing brilliantly before that whole dislocated shoulder on Sunday. Well, it's a slight holding pattern for a while but he's got huge potential at the club and also at international level. Uh, he can't be here tonight, but please, a uh, round of applause for number 16, Louis Fenton. <laughs> Next up, the only player who's been here for the entire life of the Wellington Phoenix Football Club. Injuries plagued his first two years here, but in the four years since, he's been a regular and chalked up his century of Phoenix appearances last season. He's previously spent time at Melbourne Victory and played age group internationals for Australia. Versatile enough to play in midfield or at fullback and will likely form part of the defensive midfield screen in the season ahead. The only guy ever to wear lucky number 17 for the Phoenix is Vince Lear. <laughs> Next up, one of the club's true success stories. He joined the club from New Zealand National League in 2008 and has become not just a regular on the side but a standout. So much so that he won consecutive Player of the Year awards in the 2010, 2011 and the 2011, 2012 seasons. He's hardly missed a game in the last three years uh, and he's also obviously uh, had his Phoenix century last season. He's also played 31 internationals for the All Whites and chips in with vital goals for club and country. He's no nonsense defending, he's got wholehearted commitment and passion and a never say die attitude. You can only be talking about number 18, Ben Sigmund. He's worked with 
the goalkeeping coach, uh, Jonathan Gould, when he was at Perth Glory and was Ernie Merrick's first signing as Phoenix coach. He spent time with the Oakley Cannons at the Victorian Premier League this year, where he was regarded by many as the best goalkeeper in the league. Unfortunately, he was injured, which has delayed the start of his Phoenix career, but small detail, he's the one that's limping a little bit. He's uh, 1.89 metres tall, you can't miss him. He's just 22 years old. He's a new face between the sticks this season and will be wearing number 20. Uh, welcome, Louis At Italiano. during his five seasons with Melbourne Victory, including winning the Johnny Warren Medal for the A-League. <laughs> See what I mean? Uh, the Johnny Warren Medal for the uh, A-League's best player in 2009-2010. He then spent time in India, but signed for the Phoenix back in February and arrived in July to a lot of excitement. He's an entertainer, a creative midfielder of the highest order, a dead ball specialist, and the scorer of spectacular goals. Paul Eiffel once said he would pay to watch him and we can't wait to see what he's going to do in a Phoenix shirt. The number 21 shirt, Carlos Hernandez. <laughs> and finally, we of course must move to the club captain. The skipper of the side since he arrived in 2008. He's the calm, composed central defender and a brilliant reader of the game who leads by example. The hallmarks of his game uh, include perfectly timed tackles, last ditch interventions, excellent aerial ability and legendary consistency. He basically never misses a game and in round four of the season will become the club's all-time leading appearance maker. He's even been renowned. I think you've done one goal, haven't you, so far? Is it one? Two? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Jura. Uh, after one of the most prolonged processes in football history, he's also now a fully-fledged, legitimate all-white and we're very proud. Captain of the Phoenix, number 22, Andrew Durant.